Ishe Smith, saw you in the, the ring going some rounds with Cuba the other day. How was the work? Cuba's always, Cuba's always good work. He always give me good work. Up and coming. Uh, prospect now. Uh, I think he got five or six fights. So, uh, you know, he's always good work. Gives me good work. Uh, always uh, pushes me to the, push me to my limit. So, you know, I, I always respect uh, and grateful for the work that he gives me. Now you actually you've been you've been knowing him working with him for like years though because when he came to Vegas you were the first guy he sparred. Just what's it been like kind of seeing him grow as a fighter and helping him along the way? You know, I look at Cuba like he, he's my little brother, you know. So you know, then that we've been sparring for so long before there was any thought of him being on the money team or me on the money team, and just him being an amateur and me, uh, you know, just trying to get fights. You know, we've been sparring for that long, so. To be a part of that and watching him grow into the season pro is, is a pleasure, it's a treat. Now, you, your camp was going real good, it looked like, with for Carlos Molina. You were, you know, put a lot of hard work. How, initially, how disappointed were you when you got the cut? Um, you know, it, it hurt because, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, be here for my, uh, you know, outside of making good money and, and uh, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, that's a bonus, but, uh, you know, to to defend my title in front of my hometown fans, you know, it meant a lot to me. So to not be able to do that uh, now and, and have my fight canceled, postponed, it was uh, it was hard. So I'm just waiting on the day. Uh, we'll look to see what happens. I mean, there's a lot of rumors going around that I'm fighting September 14th. You know, nothing is confirmed. I haven't signed anything. I'm just in the gym right now, staying in shape because you know you never know when you're gonna get that call. So. I'm just staying in shape, doing the next ten things I need to do, and you know when I get that call, whether it be it could be in October, it can be whenever it is, you know I'll be ready. Now, what would you prefer, like a fight on the September 14th card, a huge event, or headlining your own show, like at a Hard Rock or whatever? What, what would you like? You know, I'm a fighter, so I just want to fight. At the end of the day, uh, it, it'll be good to, to headline my own show, but. You know, uh, that'll be great to get back to the fans and, you know, for all the fans that supported me for so many years in, in this city. But, you know, I'm a fighter, so whenever they tell me I'm going to fight, I'm, I'm going to be ready to fight. Did you see uh, Showtime's triple header the other night? They had some really good fights. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that, man? A uh, very good very good fight. Uh, very good fight. I thought uh, Andre Berto performed well. I think uh, Karaz performed well, you know, he went out and did his thing, you know, they were all quality, quality matchups, man, and, and, and good fights, you know, Showtime is, uh, Showtime is taking over boxing, it's taking over boxing, man, and, and it's a pleasure to watch, being that I've been affiliated with them for, you know, over 10 years, and see them now uh, taking over the sports, it's just a pleasure to watch. Steven Espinosa is doing a great job. Now, uh, Floyd Mayweather is getting his training camp going for uh, Sal Alvarez. What have just been your early thoughts on his uh, early days in camp? Oh, he looks like a million bucks. Uh, you know, we're about six, seven weeks out from the fight. He's sharp already. Uh, he looks good. You know, it's going to be a great night. Super Bowl of boxing, one of the biggest events. I think in the last 10 years, maybe even bigger than Delahoy and Mayweather. Um, because, you know, neither neither combatant has lost. And Oscar had already lost a couple fights. So I just think it's, it, it's, it's a great night, big for the sport. Uh, like I said, probably the biggest fight in the last 10 years. What's going to win Floyd the fight in your eyes? Just being himself. Being, being the fighter that he's been for the last 44 fights. He's the smartest boxer in the game. The most disciplined boxer in the game. He's going to go out and do what he needs to do. Now I'm back in the game, just trying to display my name I'm opening my delivery, me so deliver my pain And I show what I know, through paper and pencil Cause I don't rap about swag, cause swag is for big show Man, I thought you knew, all the things that I've been through So I'm retelling the story that I had admitted to And the 